Dear Music Store TV viewers, very welcome here at the booth 2018 in Berlin. The super booth here at the stand of IntelliJail. Camillo, there's a new Planar 2. This is a module, a new one. That's right. It's a, it's a revision of our classic uh, Planar module, which is a uh, joystick modulator, essentially. And with this, you can use uh, the joystick to generate up to six channels of CV. So you always have an X and Y CV. And with nothing connected to the ABCD inputs, you have four additional CVs from the ABCD outputs. But then you can also use this as a mixer. So you can connect four audio sources or CV sources to these inputs and then mix them from the mix out or control their levels. And all of that's controlled with this very nice uh, feeling smooth joystick. Uh, the major enhancement though over the original planar is we've added recording capability. So you can see these three buttons here. Uh, they are controlling the loop recorder. So you can see kind of the amplitude of the ABCD is indicated by the brightness of these LEDs here. And as I'm moving this, I can hit the record button and I can record my motion and then hit play and it'll kind of continue doing that playback of that recording. Um, there's also this trigger input here below the mix output and that allows you to sync your recording actions to an external source. So say you have a sequencer that outputs a trigger every bar, you could record a modulation that's exactly one bar long. Um, there's also CV inputs and these allow you to do a variety of things. So one of them is you can say move the joystick around virtually via CV, say using an LFO patched into these to control the X and the Y. Uh, the other mode of CV is this rotational mode and this is another way to move the joystick except instead of having left, right and up, down, you have one input which is the angle of rotation and another input that's kind of the distance from the center. And the third and final CV mode which I feel is kind of the most interesting is like a scrub mode. And what this allows you to do, um, let's say we have this recording where this was going in a circle. And now if I connect a LFO, say a sine wave LFO to the input, we can move through that recording at a speed controlled by this external modulator. So you see I recorded, uh, you can have it either circle, say very quickly, or very slowly. So you can take a recording that's five seconds long and turn that into 30 minutes of modulation if you have a very slow LFO or vice versa, you know? Can we a sample? Sample? A sample, a sound. Give us a sound oh, to yes. hear a bit sure. how it so, works. So here I have a, a drum sound going. Let me just stop the loop for a second. And you can see I'm controlling the characteristics of this drum sound with the joystick. And now, um, if I hit record, and then I can play back what I, uh, sorry, let me switch that. So it keeps the data so you programmed with a joystick. Exactly. So this is so, the way how it works. So, yes, yeah, so this is an alternative to, say, envelopes where you have a bunch of, uh, knobs to program envelope shapes and stuff this lets you do it live by feel of the joystick very intuitive and very handy yeah. and smart exactly and especially for a live performance you can kind of go with your intuition so the main goal for the follow-up of the plan r2 was what was the main idea behind this invention yeah the main idea was to have this uh recording capability and being able to recreate your your movements and the Plan R2 is already available on the market? It will be available, I'd say, probably about a month from now. Okay, and the retail price would be? Uh, still not finalized. I guess you'll have to check the Music Store website. Ah, uh, you're well instructed. Thank you very much for your yeah. explanations. Much more information, as usual, as he's, like he said, on musicstore.com. Thank you. IntelliJail Plan R2.